Hi, I'm Sarah with the Sobe Sport Family Fitness, a Pilates inspired program for parents. Today I'd like to give you an idea for how you can breastfeed your baby in the Moby Wrap. Right now I have David, who is two months old, in the Moby Wrap. You can see he's fast asleep. He's so sweet. He's been such a trooper in helping me make these videos so that I can encourage other moms to explore and experiment so that they can nurse on the go and feel really comfortable in their Moby Wrap. The Moby Wrap has been such a great tool for us and our family. I have four kids. David is the youngest. I have a set of twins, Josephine and Elizabeth. And boy, did I experiment as much as possible because I really found if baby is safe and comfortable and happy, it really helps mommy feel happy. And when mommy's feeling happy, it usually translates. So it um, helps reinforce a very synergistic uh, energy between you and your child. So in this particular video, I want to give you an idea for how do you breastfeed your baby without taking baby in and out. So I've given some other options. One is you tie you tie the, um, I call it the X, that's the crisscross of these panels. You tie this X really loosely and very low toward the opposite hip from the breast you're going to feed on. So if you're breastfeeding on your right, uh, you make this X very loose and very low over to this hip. But if you do that, you do also probably want to experiment with retightening the wrap. So that's one method that can work. Another method is taking baby in and out, which I show in another video. You can uh, link to that one. Um, but what if you're all set and you really don't want to have to deal with retying, navigating through the the panels um, and you don't want to take baby up and out what if baby's position is already uh, really ready to latch and you just want to get baby on the breast this has been a really fun uh, way to be able to get baby to latch without having to do too much work there's there is a little bit of I call it shimmying a little bit of moving so that you can reposition the wrap um, but it is a nice go-to okay so in this particular case again I would lift up and I'm just going to loosen a little bit and slide you can see actually maybe you can't see I'm taking my thumb and hopefully you can see there I've got one fabric and I'm grabbing the other and I'm just going to slide a little bit over to the opposite hip okay and I'm going to slide this back down to support his bottom and then I'm going to take, this is the important part of repositioning. I'm just gonna slide baby on the opposite side of that panel. So hopefully you saw that. Okay, so we were here and I just lifted the panel up and over, there we go. And look at that, baby is pretty much already positioned. If you want to, you can certainly scoot just a little bit more and there's the shimmying technique. I lean forward to create a little bit of slack, but I'm of course, keeping two hands on baby at this point, keeping really safe, and then I can position baby right on the breast. Um, I think he's pretty sleepy and not gonna be able to uh, latch uh, for this video, but you get the idea. Um, if I were to get him latched, I would lean back, pull the nursing tank down or the top down. I prefer something that lowers rather than lifts um, in terms of nursing tanks. Uh, while wearing the Moby Wrap. So something with a V-neck really works. And I pull it down, I get him latched. I'll often lift my breast to him so that he's in a nice safe position, get that, can get that really healthy latch. And I also use my fingers here to direct and guide his face um, so that he can reach the nipple comfortably. Okay, so hopefully this is all very clear in the video. Again, I haven't done much to the wrap. All I've done is move his hips over to the op. Yeah, his hips, the bottom, the panel, just moved it over to the opposite side from the side he's gonna nurse on. So if it's my right breast, my left hip, his hips are over to the opposite side. Okay, let's say he's done. Now, how do you get out of this and how? what's a quick go-to? Then I make sure, of course, let's pretend I'm taking this hand and I'm gonna go ahead and reposition. Now I'm gonna take this hand, lean forward. I'm also taking this hand, reaching in, and hopefully you can see this in this video. And I'm just gonna reposition him. You can see that he's now still in the diagonal. So I am gonna scoot him back. And one of the ways to scoot is to just 
gently shimmy and I'm just gently pulling this way. Okay. The other way to scoot is to lift up and get a truer sense. There we go. Truer sense of what's going on with the crisscross, which is what he's sitting on. The two two panels, one and two that he sits on. And then that can reposition him. And of course you want his bottom right underneath his shoulders, underneath his head. That way he has really nice spinal alignment. Okay, so from here, of course, want to make sure that both panels are nice and spread out. There hasn't been too much change, which is really nice. That's always good to double check. And then I would pull this down and I would reposition his head so that he's nice and safe and cozy. So I've got him here. And this panel, to me, it's a little bit close across his face. So I like to pull that down here. And then I like to take this panel and fold it away from his face. And that gives him a lot more space here so he's not ever rubbing up against the fabric. This can be an added head support if you like it. And of course, it's really important that you can still see your baby. Um, somebody from uh, your perspective may not be able to see your baby's face. And of course, it's super important that the person who's wearing um, his or her child can look down and see baby's nose and mouth, can see that there's still space between baby's chin and chest, um, and that his air passageway is nice and clear. Um, so there you have it. I guess I would probably also do this, which this, this is more for my comfort, not necessarily for babies. This just pulls down and redistributes the fabric, uh, so it, it evenly distributes the weight across um, the wearer's back, which really supports the back nicely. Um, so baby's uh, comfy, mommy's happy, and I was able to nurse in the Moby wrap without taking baby out and without repositioning the wrap too much. All I did was simply do a little bit of shimmying over to one side, get the baby latched. I did, remember, I did take the head and go underneath the panel. That was a big step, a really important step. Once the baby's latched, he or she feeds, then I make sure to reposition the head back to the center, scoot the hips, and then just tuck in the head and make sure that uh, you know everything else is really safe. The knees are up high above the hips and baby looks, looks comfortable. So I hope that helps. I really appreciate you checking out my YouTube channel. If you have any questions, let me know. And I'll see you next time. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.